Hi guys, thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Heather and I am an online reseller. Today I am going to be sharing with you some of my better sales that I have had over the last couple of weeks on eBay, Poshmark, and on Mercari. We are going to go ahead and start out with some of the items that have sold for me on eBay. I sold these Sorel Eddie Bauer Ridgeline Women's Boots. This was a collaboration done by the two. I picked these up at the Goodwill Outlet for $5.48 because they do their pricing by the pound. And these sold for $35.97. So the next item on my list are these cute little vintage glow worms. I actually picked these up at a Goodwill in a bag with 12 of them and I parted them all out. So I did four groups of three and this group cost me 79 cents for the three and I sold it for $35.95. Guys, some of these vintage toys can be really awesome sellers. So definitely make sure you're looking them up when you find them. My next sale is actually another group of these glow worms. So again, I've got 79 cents into the three and these ones sold for $39.95. I do have two more groups of these, like I was saying. So hopefully those will also go for some good profits. I did pick these up as part of a haul video that I did a couple of months ago. If you're interested in that, I will be sure to include the link for that down below in the comments. I sold these Nautica Rainy Men's Sneakers. I picked these up at Ross. They were having an amazing sale and I picked these up for just $13.07 and they sold for $35.95. I picked up this cute little security blanket for precious moments. I picked this up at TJ Maxx on clearance for $3.28 and it sold for $24.47. Some of these security blankets can do really well, so make sure you're looking out for them. I sold this cute little muslin baby blanket by Carter's, and it sold for $21.50, and I picked this up at Ross, I think, for $6.57. So a nice flip there. Again, just like security blankets, a lot of baby blankets can do really well. So another thing to be looking out for. I sold another Carter's item, this little three-piece set of pajamas. This was brand new with tags. I picked it up at Carter's. This was actually a bigger boy's size 14, which is as big as Carter's goes. Um, but I picked this up on clearance for $8.91 and they sold for $23.76 and they really didn't take too long to sell. Often the larger sizes for kids tend to do well because there just isn't as many of them available online. I sold this North American Co. Black Bunny plush. This was actually vintage. It's dated 1987. And I found this at the Goodwill outlet and paid for it by the pound. It cost me 89 cents and I sold it for $24.97. I bought this brown puffer jacket. It's a women's and it's by Dana Buchman, I think is how you say the name. And I picked this up at a Salvation Army back when we were living in Illinois for $16.45, which is a little much for a thrift store, but it looked like it was a really good high quality coat and it was in really good condition. So I still paid up for it and I did manage to sell it for $82.47. I actually had somebody either buy this or make an offer on this for Mercari. I don't remember which one it was. And then they canceled it and said, I found your same listing over on eBay. So then they went over to eBay and bought it because it was cheaper. I'm assuming that there's a possibility that it was a viewer from YouTube as they knew that I had multiple stores. Um, so if that was one of you, I really appreciate it. I sold this plush baby gun frog that I picked up at Marshall's. I picked it up for $5.40 and it sold for $38 to a buyer in Australia. So a really nice flip there. I sold these cute little silver toddler girl boots by Carter's. I picked these up at Carter's on clearance for just $4.38 and they sold for $25.17. I sold this AT&T handset and the base with it. 
I picked this up at an estate sale not too long ago with another handset and the charger base. It was a whole box full of the different pieces for this set and it was missing one of the handsets. So instead of selling it all together as a whole set, I decided to break them into different little groups and sell them out separately. So I had $4 into the whole set and so parted out, this one cost me about a dollar and I sold it for $21.21. I sold this cute little pink pig security blanket by Baby Gund. I picked this up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls for $5.48 and it sold for $31.47. I sold this cute little holiday dress by Youngland. I actually picked this up on clearance at Kohl's for $11.88. It did take quite a while to sell and surprisingly this did sell after Christmas, but I did still sell it for a good profit and it sold for $30.57. I sold these spring step red flower shoes. They are just adorable. I don't know how comfortable they are, but they are so cute. These I lucked out and I picked up at Savers. They were brand new and I only paid $8.18 for them and they sold for $49.03. I sold this Adidas orange and white uh, three stripe jacket. I picked this up at Ross after they shut down and reopened and I paid about $10.81 for this. I actually cut off the tag when I was taking the pictures and then I lost the Ross tag and yeah, most of the stuff that day was 90 to 95% off and this originally cost $75 MSRP. And so I'm guessing I had about seven to $12 into it probably. And I sold this on an offer on eBay for $40. I picked up this Thai Ba Ba Lamb plush at Goodwill for just 54 cents and it sold for $16.47. I sold this cute little lot of Our Generation Girl accessories, these little ice cream cones and ice cream snacks. I picked this up at a garage sale with some more items. I had about $3 into the lot and I separated the items into different little groups. So I've got about 50 cents into this group and it sold for $15.26. I found that the accessories for this, even though they are not American Girl, they're just, you know, the Batat, our generation Target brand, still do really well on eBay. So then on Mercari, I just have a couple of items that I'm going to go ahead and share with you. I picked up these navy and red Crocs. They're little kids, size 12. These were in really great condition. I did have to clean them a little bit on the top of the toe but they weren't hardly worn at all. And they cost me $5.29 and I sold them for $21. I picked up these New Balance women's sneakers. These were also in really amazing condition. I paid $4.45 for these and they sold for $22. So then on to Poshmark. Poshmark has actually been picking up for me more than it has. It wasn't doing so hot for me in December, but fortunately I have been making some more sales on there this last week, so I'm excited about that. I sold these Nine West Sharina heels. These cost $4.99, and I sold them for $40. These were new, but they did have a little bit of the insole that was kind of like pushing up in places, and so I did note that in the description, and I'm sure that that affected the price to some degree. But yeah, even for being Nine West, I still got $40 for them. I sold these Carter's Navy baby boots. These are just little teeny. They're a size four for babies. And I picked these up on clearance again at Carter's for $3.92 and they sold for $27 and I did pay $1.50 for the shipping. I sold these Airwalk tan shoes. They are women's. I paid just $2.70 for these and they sold for $26. I found this Columbia women's jacket over the summer at a garage sale and I paid $4 for it and it sold for $35. Back when I was very first doing thrifted items, I found this Bowden blue pencil skirt at a Goodwill. I paid just $3.77 for it. It did take probably over a year to sell, I would say, but it did sell for $18, so I did still make some good profit on it. I sold another Nine West item. These are the Mindy Loafer Heels. I bought these for $6.99 and they sold for 
and I did pay a dollar and fifty cents for the shipping on these ones. I picked up these Sorel black women's winter boots over the summer. I actually thought that these were kids when I bought them, but it turns out after looking up comps, they were actually women's. But I paid just $3 for them and they sold for $28. I sold this Lauren by Ralph Lauren women's red puffer jacket with the nice faux fur around the hood. I picked this up at TJ Maxx and Marshall's yellow tag sale last winter and I paid $54.87 for this and it sold for $155. I did pay $1.50 for the shipping on this one, but yeah, I actually had two of these and this was the second one to go and is one of the very last that I have. I picked up a whole bunch of coats last winter when they were doing the yellow tag sale. I do have a haul video about it that I will uh, link to in the comment section if you want to go check that out. But yeah, they did really well, and I've only got one of the women's coats still left. I sold this Banana Republic wool gray uh, women's sweater. I have had this one for quite a while. I picked it up for just $3.23, and it sold for $20. I picked up these cute little navy Converse sneakers at a garage sale for $3, and they sold for $28, and I did pay $1.50 for the shipping on these ones. I made a decent profit on a good portion of these items. And as you may have noticed, a lot of these are just your regular standard brands. You don't always have to go and find the over the top amazing brands that everybody is talking about on YouTube. A lot of the standard things, if you find things that are more substantial, will still sell. And so be sure to not overlook some of these more common items. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope to see you in the next one.